Earlier on, I did tease you about a behind the scenes of Obi Emeloye's film Badamasi. Let's take you behind the scenes to catch actor Anthony Monjaro and Aina Wigwe on set. Enjoy. Cast and crew of forthcoming biopic Badamasi, Portrait of a General, a film about former Nigerian military leader, retired General Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida. It is going to wrap you. You have to look this way because if you wrap him without his face, it's a waste. And action. Yes, that's better. Directed by Obi Emeloye, graduate of theatre art from the University of Nigeria, Onsuka, who has gained recognition in Nollywood for such films as Onyozi, The Messenger, Last Flight to Abuja, and Mirror Boy. But Amosi stars actor Einaya Wigwe as a controversial personality, Babangida, also called IBB. I shall mention that the competition happens, and then we have the baby down, and then the biopic is expected to be a critical portrayal of the life of the man who ruled Nigeria from August 1985 until August 1993, when he was forced to step aside to allow a democratic government. Wigwe describes the opportunity to play the role a blessing and career defining. I can hardly find a word to describe that feeling. It's amazing. It's a career role, I'll say. I've, uh, I've been uh, blessed to have played uh, certain roles in my career. But this one, this one tops it. Like, uh, this is a biopic of a very legendary, controversial person. It's very important to the, very pivotal to. Um, uh, our history in Nigeria between um, the, the, the military era and uh, the, the, the democracy. So it's, it's like nothing I've ever done before. Basically the truth about what happened as far back as 25 years ago when IBB was in power, it opens you to a lot of secrets about what happened or rather what we didn't know happened at the time about the June 12, the real issue that happened or rather what took place around the June 12 and a lot of things about Nigeria at the time. So it's me, a lot of things I didn't know. When, until I read the script and I'm like, oh, okay, this one happened. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, so this person did this. Because initially you could see some characters and then you're like, oh, this guy is a bad guy. But reading the script, you'll be like, okay, this was exactly what happened. Emma Longyear is most concerned about the credibility of the film, which some critics perceive as an attempt to launder the image of the general who is still alive. Anthony Monjaro, who is no stranger to Emeloye's works, having starred in a number of his films, plays the character Wale Oshin, a brilliant writer signed up by IBB to help compose his speeches. Wale Oshin was one of the people who were pivotal to his um, governance in his era when he actually, when IBB um, ran his governance around the time. Um, he so happened to be, he had gone to, he had been detained for a year during the previous um, administration and he found the piece in the papers that actually um, encompasses the kind of writing he did and he liked that and he wanted, to, wanted him to be a part of um, the speeches that he wanted to be, he wanted him to, def, he wanted to be, he wanted him to be in the forefront of the speeches that he actually both wrote and actually spoke, um, um, presented during his broadcast. This film is um, titled Badamasi, a portrait of a general. Um, it looks, it's an intimate um, look into the, the life and the times of uh, um, the erstwhile Nigerian president, Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida, uh, Major General Retired. Um, he's one of the most controversial, most influential 
um, leaders of Nigeria ever. Um, he's um, loved in one breath and equally hated in the other. Um, very complex, very complicated character. And what I've tried to do with this film is to try and get behind the man, the man behind the mask, to kind of um, rise above the myth and all the hype and, and get an intimate portrait of this very, very powerful man. The movie, which is still in production, also casts actress Amarachi Uwakwe, now Anya Wu. Sunscreen. Camera is not rolling. 